Okay, so page 388, number 4. A concave mirror has a focal length of 10 centimeters. So F equals 10 centimeters. And then the question is, what is the radius of curvature? So hopefully you remember R equals 2F. So R should be equal to 20 centimeters. Number 4 is done. Number 5. Light from a distant star is collected by a concave mirror. How far from the mirror is the image of the star if the radius of curvature is 150 centimeters? So R is equal to 150 centimeters. Therefore, F is equal to 75 centimeters. And it wants to know how far from the mirror is the image. It wants to know DI. So if you look at your 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equation. F is 1 over 75, and the object is the distant star. So compared to 75 centimeters, the object is infinitely far away. It is so far away that when you do 1 divided by, like the sun is not a distant star, and it would still give you a really tiny fraction here. How far away is the sun? I used to know this. Um, isn't that awful? I forget from physics 12 because we haven't done it for, well, it'll come up in physics 12 before long. Times 10 to the 11th. So a distant star is going to be further away than that. The whole point being this is going to go to zero when DO is really big. So what must di be? Cross multiply. di must be equal to f. It must be equal to 75 centimeters. So whenever it says a distant light from a distant object, it means the 1 over do is going to go to 0, and the, D, the image is going to be formed at the focal point at f. Number 6. Sun falls on a concave mirror and forms an image 3 centimeters from the mirror. The sun is a distant object. So it's saying that an image of the sun forms three centimeters from the mirror. It's really then telling us that F is three centimeters. If an object 24 centimeters high, HO, and I think it might have been millimeters, is placed 12 centimeters from the mirror, DO, will, where will the image be formed? What's DI? So 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over di, 1 over di is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do. So 1 over 3 centimeters minus 1 over 12 centimeters. Common denominator is going to be 12. So 4 over 12 minus 1 over 12 should be 3 over 12, which becomes 1 over 4. So flip di equals 4 centimeters. Okay, use, oops, the first part said use a ray diagram, but I didn't, um, but I trust you did. Second part says how high is the image, so now they're asking for HI, and yes, no, I'm not doing the ray diagram this time, I've done them all. You, you can do it, I'm sure. HI over D, uh, hi ho di do, oops, negative. So we're looking for HI, so negative D I H O over D O. Negative di was 4 centimeters times 24 millimeters divided by 12 centimeters. Do I actually need to switch my units here? Not really, because this centimeter is going to cancel this centimeter, uh, and we're going to be left with millimeters, and it should be negative 8 millimeters. What does the negative mean? Do you remember? I'm waiting. The negative should mean that it is inverted because it's a real image. Number seven says, I know I skipped the ray diagram. I'll come back to it maybe. An object is 30 centimeters from a concave mirror, DO, 30 centimeters. Uh, last the question. A focal length 15 F. 15 centimeters. The object HO is 1.8 centimeters tall. Find the image with the mirror equation and how high. So 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. 
So 1 over di is equal to 1 over f minus 1 over do equals 1 over 15 minus 1 over 30. Common denominator is 30, so 2 over 30 minus 1 over 30 should be about 1 over 30. So di should be equal to 30 centimeters. And then it wants to know how high. So hi over ho equals negative di over do. Bring your ho up. hi is equal to negative di hi over do. Fill in your numbers. Negative 30 centimeters times, what was it? Uh, oops, this is an O times 1.8 centimeters divided by 30 centimeters. Hmm, wonder what I'm going to get. HI is equal to negative 1.8 centimeters, and remember, negative means inverted. Now, did you have to do all that? Maybe not if you realized that the object was placed at C, two, two times the focal length, and that means the image should end up at C, and it should end up being the same size. So really, we just proved case number two there. Number eight. Number eight says a jeweler inspects uh, a watch with a diameter of thirty of three centimeters by placing an eight centimeter placing it eight centimeters in front of a concave mirror that is twelve centimeters in in uh, length. Sorry, my book that has an issue with that question. It, it's really faded. So what do we know? So we know that it is th HO is three centimeters. The DO, it's placed eight centimeters in front, it says. And it says the focal length is 12 centimeters. So notice they're placing it inside of F. It's going to be closer to the mirror than F. So one over F is equal to one over DO plus one over DI. So one over DI is equal to one over F minus one over DO. So 1 over 12 minus 1 over 8. Common denominator, 24. So 2 over 12 minus 3 over 12. Excuse me, 2 over 24 minus 3 over 24. Should equal negative 1 over 24. So where is the image going to be? It's going to be 24 centimeters behind the mirror. It's going to be virtual. That's what the negative means. Okay, that's the first part of the question. The second part of the question says, what will its diameter be? In other words, what's HI? So HI over HO is equal to negative DI over DO. So HI equals negative DI HO over DO. So HI equals negative, negative, so that'll be positive, 24 times 3 divided by 8. And you should get an HI of positive 9. 9 times bigger. Positive means it's, it's erect, which is a great thing if you're someone who's fixing a watch. It's great if the watch is actually right side up when you go to fix it. Okay, so it's acting like a magnifying glass form. Number 9. A dentist uses a small mirror of radius, 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 40 millimeters, which means F is going to be 20 millimeters, um, to locate a cavity in a patient's tooth. If the tooth mirror is concave and held 18 centimeters from the tooth, so DO, and I think it's 16 even though I said 18, yeah, 16 millimeters from the tooth, what is the magnification? So to find the magnification, you first need to find di. So 1 over f equals, I'm going to run at a time, do plus 1 over di. When you do this, um, 1 over di, 1 over 20 minus 1 over 16. Common denominator should be 80. 4 over 80 minus 5 over 80. di is going to be negative 80. And then, and then millimeters, and then magnification, negative di over do. So negative 80, negative, negative, so positive, over 16, magnification should be 5.